Hello, welcome to Orford Espresso. I'm Doug. I'm Barb. This is our newest little project that we're just finishing up. Here, this is a La San Marco. This is a Model 80, uh, built in 1978. And I've been amazingly impressed with the La San Marco, just the, the engineering, the, the ideas. It's likely the, the best built, most complicated, though most simple machine in many ways, but just take a look at these various functions. We've got our steam, quick, stays on, our water over here. I've got it unplugged right now. My cord's a little too short, but I do have some residual pressure. I do have the water line hooked up. Um, this is just a little engineering tour of the machine, the way it's put together in that this is a heat exchanger machine and so this will involve a slightly complicated uh, water system is that here we have an inlet line it's a plumbed machine so our inlet comes in here and the water is available to go in two directions this direction goes up through the HX this direction comes back through the fill valve to fill the boiler at this bottom junction this is a flow valve for the line pressure which is fully adjustable and to fill the boiler as you can see over here on this amazing sight glass now there's a beautiful piece of construction this solid piece of glass very thick walled and it's held in to these two bosses with a big silicone seal and this is the tightening rod that goes from the top to the bottom. It doesn't use the, the flat seals that squeeze around the glass, the glass seals against the ends. It's a very nice method of doing this. You also note that it's way out here on the side. Now, the footprint of this machine is quite large, but the case is even larger. As you see the way the sight glass is hooked with a little reflector. There's a fascia that fits over the front. Now you notice as we come around, these are the lines for the heat exchanger. This comes from the cold water line and the pressure control. The heat exchanger is about two inches in diameter and it's mounted about here in the boiler. So basically, when you have the water set at level, most of the heat exchanger is in the steam and only the very bottom of it is in the water and as the water level goes down the heat exchanger is completely, it's about in this position it's completely in the steam and here's the inlet, the cold water comes in we'll come around a little farther heat exchanger goes through and comes out and feeds the group very thick boilerplate has a, an interesting inset uh, seal and ridge system. It's not a flat plate to a flat plate. It's actually a there's a, a fat uh, ridge in this side of the boiler and on this side there's a flange that sticks in and seals it's a Teflon a gasket. Uh, this is an addition. This is a, I put on a an empty valve or a vacuum breaker on this fourth port and you see one port goes to the P-STAT, one port goes to the, to the manometer one port goes to the steam wand, and this fourth port, I think, was to use for the gas uh, pressure stat if you had that application. But this was just a closed cap, so I applied this vacuum breaker. It makes it a little handier. There you can see the back of the group. One of the real beauties of this machine, we'll get around this way to the end view. One of the beauties is under here. This is the mercury pressure switch and it's set currently it goes on at one bar and it goes off at 1.2 bar and the we'll you can show this in action in a, in a later video when I've got the electricity to it but this sits there and then all of a sudden pops up and and inside the tubes appear blue sparks so it's a pretty dramatic little moment when that happens the adjustment 
for the pressure stat is this little notched wheel in here and one notch represents about a tenth as you move it uh, up and down. It's very easy to set. A real nice feature. This has got a dual element and runs 1350 watts. Now I'm gonna get my I'm gonna get my hose all in a big kink. So we'll come around this way. Now as I say the over-engineering aspect of this is that each one of these valves is extremely adjustable throughout the range. And each valve if Les and Marco could do it with, with one spring, they decided, well, we'll use two springs. There's a spring in the front, which controls the tightness here and the sensitivity, and there's a spring in the back that controls the valve. And once again, another spring here, which controls the tightness of these levers. And the same thing down in here, there's multiple springs in this water valve that go in both directions. This uses a lot of Teflon seals. Now, let me get my drip tray back. One of the big features of this machine is the group. And some of the explanation for the size of this base is because of the strength of the spring in the machine. This is a new spring. It uses two springs, a standard, a little heavier more wraps than normal and then it uses the inner spring which you can see in the top of this housing. Now many times when you'll see a video of someone pulling a shot on a La San Marco it's because the string the spring is so strong once again everything is slightly uh, extra engineering points three ears very very heavy construction extremely heavy brass uh, interesting machining down here to, to, that goes to the one side goes to one spout, the other side goes to the other spout. Uh, and so it, 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 a lot of really fascinating points. It's got a very deep, goes in quite a ways if you see, you know, it, it, it inserts, the, the bottom of the cylinder inserts almost down here. The top of the coffee is quite low in the basket. You can see the wear marks there. You can see there's the, the tamper marks, so the coffee is tamped well down into the basket. Now, I wanted to demonstrate one of the really fascinating features here is this lever. This controls a valve which runs through the group, the back of the group, and there, this is a water valve that, rele that opens from the line and goes through the HX. This is the pre-infusion valve and it's pretty much infinitely adjustable. So when you come down you notice the beautiful manufacturing of this lever but you'll see up comes the foot, impinges on the roller and opens up the water. Now this is adjustable all the way down to a triple that in conjunction with the pressure line valve gives you an extreme amount of control for the, for the pre-infusion on the shot. And you see, I've got it set so it turns off at about here. But it's extremely adjustable with this little lock nut that we see right here. This is my jury rig system giving me some sound effects. But it, it's a beautiful feature because this valve allows the, the piston to be sealed with a single seal, not two or not three like in some, and so the water, the water stops back here. Now, once again, there's a, this back part, this brass boss, this is about an inch diameter pipe, and it goes all the way into the boiler about halfway through and the end of the pipe sits in the hot water near the heat exchanger or most of it's in the steam. The back of this is full of water. This section right here. This is full of water and it heats the group. And so the between some of the extreme La San Marcos engineering that they used 
and this particular idea gives you an extreme controllability of, of the shot. Uh, and it is a beautiful system when you see that finger come up and just tweak the valve just so. Very interesting control. And this is the La San Marco Model 80. Uh, once we have the, the cover all shined up and placed on the machine, we can demonstrate some shots. It has a very interesting profile. This is a fascinating machine, the La San Marco Model 80 levers.